You want to get shaders in Minecraft 1.21.6 to make it look like this. Well, let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, we want to go to Google, where we can search for iris shaders. And on Iris Shaders website, which is the first link here, we can go to download now. Then you want to click the download universal jar here. If you'd rather go to these links through our website, you can check it out in the description down below. When you click on download universal jar here, Iris will begin downloading. You may have to keep or save it, but it's 100% safe to do that as long as you are on the official Iris website here. And while this is downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below to break down to XYZ says SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. It's super quick and easy to get your server set up and running. And you can add mods, plugins, mod packs to your server, customize it any way that you want. And there's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way so go check out simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to xyz slash sgh nonetheless with iris shaders downloaded there's one more thing we need to get and that is actually shaders pack so we can google minecraft shaders packs and when we do that we can find minecraft shaders on curse forge and moderate both of these are the most popular places to get minecraft shaders so i'm going to go ahead and grab complimentary shaders reimagined here on curse forge we can click on this go to files and find the most recent version even if it's not for 1.21.6 it's probably going to work here so we can go ahead and click the three dots and click download file when i say probably like there's like a 99.9% .9 chance it'll work without issue when you're on curse wars you're gonna need to keep or save it and on modern we'll grab a different shaders pack we will grab bsl shaders another super popular pack or we can go to uh, versions and then download that most recent version here with that being said, once these are all downloaded, we can then get Iris Shaders installed and then install our shader pack. So to do that, we want to close out of Minecraft. We want to minimize our browser and find the files we downloaded. So we go to downloads here. We have BSL Shaders and Complementary Reimagined. Those are both the basically shader packs that we'll install later. And then we have Iris Shaders here. You can go ahead and double click the Iris installer to open it up and then just select 1.21.6. Select Iris only and click install. It will now install Iris shaders in Minecraft and just like that, it's completed. You can close out of Iris shaders and we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher and play Minecraft using our Iris installation. So in Minecraft, we already have Iris and Sodium selected. If you don't, click on the uh, arrow here and click on Iris and Sodium. Click play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with shaders installed. However, we still need to install our shader packs here, which I have moved to our desktop, because just the Iris shaders mod doesn't actually add any shaders to Minecraft. Each shader pack does that. So here we are in game. We go to options and video settings, and then up at the top, you'll see shader packs. Click on that, and then we can drag and drop our shader packs directly into Minecraft. And there they are. They are now in game. Now we can go ahead and delete these from our desktop because they've been moved in game here. And to select them, just click on them and then click apply. There are shader pack settings you can change by clicking shader pack settings. This can be good for if you have a low end PC, for example, running on a lower profile to improve performance. But if we jump in game, our shader packs will be active. And of course, we'll give this a go on a simple game hosting server. Shaders are actually local, so you don't need to do anything on the server for them to work. Like this would work on Hypixel, for example. And there you go, BSL Shaders is working. Uh, or complimentary, whichever one we selected. You can actually change your shader packs in game by going to video settings and shaders and switching over to complimentary. For example, you can install as many shader packs as you want, but you can only have one active at a time. So for example, if you installed 10 shaders packs, you could only have one at a time, but you could check them out, see which one you like better. For example, I don't love the clouds here, so I would probably switch back to BSL shaders to get better clouds. Uh, the shading though is actually a bit brighter, a bit more, you know, Minecraft vanilla looking. So maybe I would keep it for that reason. It kind of just depends on what you're looking for. But with that, you now know how to add shaders to Minecraft Java Edition 1.21.6. We will see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.